I'm delighted to say I've got Saki Mahmood alongside me, um, Lancashire and England star. Saki, good to see you. First time, uh, first first things first, how's the, how's the injury? Um, it's healing. So I had a scan last week. Um, got some good news. So it's as good as can be at the moment, not completely healed. Um, but I've got another meeting today with all the medical staff and I should know more, but fingers crossed I can start training this week. Well, you're looking fit and strong, which is good news. Uh, obviously, you've not done anything for about, what, three, four weeks now, maybe longer. I think it's 10 weeks Is now, it so now? Oh, 10 weeks? Yeah. As I was mentioned earlier, it's actually been 10 weeks since I've put this <sighs> put Blank's tracksuit on as well, so um, <sighs> it's been a while. So frustrating for you, but yeah. Yeah, obviously yeah. frustrating. Yeah, very frustrating. Um, you know, just sort of watching the boys go out and do the business and uh, watching the England boys on telly, it's been it's been hard to watch, but um, nah, sort of some good news last week, so hopefully it's all... On the upwards now. And some more good news, both for you and certainly for Lancashire fans, is that you've signed an extended contract with Lancashire. Yeah, I have, and, and delighted that I've signed with Lancs. It's, it's coming up to, well, I think it's been over 10 years I've been at the club now. So, yeah, happy. And even on the day um, that I signed, all the messages coming through, I was, you know, overwhelmed with all of that. So, now I'm happy. Great stuff. Good. Let's concentrate a little bit on this game, which we hope will get underway later on today, of course. Lancashire 31 points behind Surrey in the county championship. Both teams have four games left. Lancashire need to win, don't they? Yeah, they do. And especially here at Old Trafford, where results can be quite hard to come. Uh, you know, when games get affected by weather, which happens quite a lot of here, it's quite hard to get a result. So I think when they do get out there, they've obviously got to be on top of their game. Um, but yeah, like if you, if you want to chase Surrey, you have to have a good home record, which we usually do, but as soon as games become weather affected, it's quite hard to get results here. Mm, it's it's generally regarded as one of the best pitches in the country. Um, that's all fine and dandy as long as you get four days cricket or maybe five days in a in a test match. But it is it is tricky to 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 take those twenty wickets, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and it's one of those you have to be on it both innings. As soon as there's a high scoring innings, it's slightly to go towards a draw. Um, but yeah, as soon as it's weather affected here, it's hard work. And I think, you know, the almost a combination you need to take 20 wickets here is is something Lanks usually gets spot on. Not many other sides. I think bar Essex, no one's come here and taken 20 wickets in the last three or four years. So um, I think, you know, we've got some good spinners. We've got some good seamers, uh, guys who can obviously enforce things as well. So um, we've got a good balance in that respect. Uh, whilst we've got a few minutes, um, let's have a, a look forward to uh, this game coming up then and Lancashire's prospects and the way they've been playing. It was a really good win last week down at Northampton when, to all intents and purposes, they were up against it until the fourth innings. Yeah, they were. And obviously, day one was the hottest day of the year. And mm. um, bowling first, you sort of tend to think, you know, it's almost downhill from here and... Um, but the way they went about it and, you know, I was following the score and, yeah, in that last innings sort of, well, the third innings I think was a big game changer. So uh, Tom Bailey and, and Will Williams obviously took nine wickets between them and, um, you know, stopped North Ants from really sort of progressing on and almost batting us out of the game. So obviously they did a great job there and then for the batters to come out and Josh Bohannon obviously got another 100. Um, it was a great chase, obviously we were following it. Um, I think me and Jimmy were... We were at we were here, I think, following the game. So um, it was yeah, it was very pleasing to obviously see the guys get over the line. Good to see Josh Bahannon back into form again. He he scored a big double hundred earlier in the season and then had a bit of a fallow period. But these things happen, obviously, uh, and back again with a bang with a hundred. Yeah, and uh, form's one of those things. You're in and out of form all the time. No one's expecting you to go out and score 100 every game but it's one of those when it matters most like it did in that fourth innings is when they mean a lot more to the team you know on a flat one everyone can hunt and runs will get shared out but on a day where you really need someone to sort of battle through for you and and get that big 100 like you did um, you know those ones mean so much more to the team. Lancashire have been very close to winning a lot of games this year um, and not quite got over the line uh, key example was the game at Southport when Keaton Jennings scored a triple hundred. He's in fantastic form, isn't he? He is, and saw him score a double hundred earlier on in the season, which he got run out at the end of, but 
and a triple hundred here. But I think the most pleasing thing is once he's in, he doesn't give it away. Mm. Um, every, everyone's going to be vulnerable early on in their innings, but I find the real thing with Keats this year is when he's managed to get himself in, it's very hard to get him out. And he doesn't just go hundreds, he goes on and gets big, big hundreds. So I think that's the ruthlessness you want to show as um, a batting unit, as a top order batter as well. And, um, you know, those are the kind of things you're going to have to do. He's obviously missed the start of the season, but since he's come in, he's um, he's just got better and better. Uh, a big blow for Lancashire, though, going into this game is the fact that Dane Villas has fractured a finger in his right hand and he's ruled out for at least a couple of weeks. Um, how big uh, a blow is that for Lancashire? It is, I think, with everything that Dane gives you as a captain, as a batter, there's a lot that you'll miss out there. But for me, I'd like to be optimistic that there's enough leaders in that dressing room now to be able to cope for one game, if it be. Um, you know, you've got the likes of Tom Bailey, Keaton Jennings, Luke Wells, Stephen Croft. You've got these guys who can all sort of stand up. I'm not sure who's captain in this game. But I, I'd like to think that the dressing room's been left in um, a good state. And, and Dane gives you so much. As a captain, he's someone who leads from the front in, in every aspect, with a bat in the field. He's always demanding 100% from everyone. So um, I think it's just a case of everyone realising that just because the skipper's not there, they can't sort of fall off in their standards and and that. So um, now nah, I'd, I'd like to think they, they'd cope pretty well, but he will be a big miss, especially someone of that quality. Mm. Look at the, uh, the bowling attack. Obviously missing yourself and Jimmy's uh, missing as well. Um, but you already mentioned Tom Bailey and Will Williams. Will Williams is just a, a new recruit signed as a as an overseas player and now playing as a um, a local player. Uh, he's a New Zealander with um, British connections. Obviously, uh, have you seen much of the, much of him? Um, I haven't actually met him or seen him bowl in person yet. I've seen him on the stream. Mm. First thing you do when you sign somebody or anything is you look at their record, and he's got a very impressive record. Uh, bowling with the Cookerbra out in New Zealand, so yeah, look the way he started, it shows you know he's a very economical bowler, someone who can hold length for you all day, um, and I think that gives us a nice balance, especially here at Old Emirates Old Trafford. Away from Old Trafford, you'll get a little bit in the wicket, but here when there's nothing going on, you almost need bowlers to be able to control the rate as well as take wickets, and, and he gives you that. Spin department, led, of course, by Matt Parkinson. But Jack Morley's been bowling well as well when he's been given the opportunity. Yeah, he has. And, and to be fair, all the spinners at the moment are, are looking good. Jack Morley took a five for the other week, which was great for him. Tom Hartley took a six for and scored a double hundred in the second team this week as well. So the spin department is in... Um, they're, they're all in good form at the moment. And, you know... I, Playing at Emirates Old Trafford, like we're speaking about again, spin is very key here, especially to take 20 wickets in uh, day three, day four. Those guys need to stand up, so um, it's good to see that they're in some form. Um, just talk to us a little bit about the pitch. We mentioned it earlier about the pitch here. What is it that makes it so good for cricket? And and do you enjoy bowling here? You must do, because you, you've been here for a while now. I, I enjoy bowling here. It is hard work. And I think... If, if you're a supporter, if you're a fan and you're actually at the ground, it's always interesting to see when opposition sides come here, looking at their body language f from the first five to ten overs is so many times I see bowlers and their shoulders drop and, and they'll take wickets all around the country, but as soon as they come here and there's... Because you don't really get a lot out of the wicket. You really have to put 100% in. Every now and again, you might get a little bit. And because of the abrasive nature of the wicket, swing only lasts for 10, 15 overs max. Um, and for me, I feel like that's when I really thrive and stand up is when I see other guys sort of dropping their shoulders. And for me, that's, that's where I really want to stand up and, and make a difference. And it is hard work getting wickets on here because you, it takes... that. Na if you look at English conditions where it swings and seems about a bit, you won't get much of that. Aside from maybe day one, in the first session and then after that it's pretty flat and it's and it's hard work but you know the one game I played this year I actually enjoyed so much it was it was it was a very flat wicket but I think you know we had a great attack that day in me Jimmy Anderson and Hassan Ali and it was so much fun us three working together to try and take 20 wickets and it's the only time we've taken 20 wickets so far this season but just that and I think it's how I've grown up playing here is you expect it to be flat you're happy it's flat and you want to make a difference on there um, and I think for me in the future as well, it'll hold me in good stead 
just having that mindset and that attitude towards any sort of wicket because you are going to play on flat wickets and I think the attitude we have here, not just for me, but as a bowling unit, is is better than most of the squads because you see their body language change very quickly. That's a good summation of it. It also holds true for bat batters as well because whilst it might be difficult to take wickets on here and it be perceived as a good batting track, you've still got to concentrate, you've still got to work hard as a batter. Yeah, you do. And I, you've seen this year how many batters have scored big on here. And it is it is a wicket which um, you can score big on. It's a fast outfield. The the square is rock hard, so the ball will fly off quickly. But it's very true paced. You, there's not many demons in it. But it, it does test you. And against a new ball, there will be a little bit in it. But then it will get flat. Um, so you've obviously got a bad time. But then on day four, you will get spin. And uh, there's also reverse swing if, if the bowlers are, are capable of... Uh, using that, so I think as a batter, there is a chance to score big runs, but you will get challenged in different ways compared to other wickets. Uh, Saki, thanks very much for now.